raw food, why he got into it, and um, how long he's been doing it, and what he likes about it, and the changes he's experienced. So why don't you, oh, I'm Megan, by the way, if you haven't seen me before, um, why don't you tell everybody how long you've been raw? A little over two months ago, I was here for a potluck, and uh, it was just coincidence that I stopped in to purchase something after hearing about this store from a friend the same day of the potluck. So I stayed for the potluck, I ate, I helped myself to as many things as I could fit on my plate, and actually cracked. When I was done, uh, I felt very refreshed. When I woke up the next morning, though, I felt so positive and so optimistic and so happy, which is not typical. And I looked at the recent events of those, those days, and the only thing that was different was this meal. So I, I decided to enroll in a class and start learning how to do it myself. I've been, since then, making more things raw over time. Not 100% at this point, it's been a transition. And I find the biggest change for me is when I eat something cooked now, the same things I ate before, the same organic pot pie that bakes and, and you know, it doesn't taste as good. And I feel like I have less energy when I'm done eating than before. But when I eat a raw meal, it's like I can keep going, there's no lag or latency or downtime. Better and stronger than what I've done. So, the physical changes in themselves is what perpetuates my choice making to continue to do it because it just feels good and makes sense. Right. And so, you said that there was no particular reason other than just feeling good after a pot lab? Yes. And you just stumbled upon this place to buy something? Yes. Okay. That actually is what happened to me. So, yeah. Well, right. Yes, and now I've been working here forever. So um, it's uh, it's a really good way of life, and um, I feel really great. It really impressed. It really just impressed me, like how my mood changed when I went raw, and I'm just really even and smiling all the time. And um, I also wanted to talk about the women's event that we're going to have. It's going to be on. October 18th on a Sunday. It's going to be probably around noon to maybe late afternoon, early evening. And we're going to do kind of a dinner and a movie thing. Um, we're going to have a couple lectures. It's going to be me and Susan Amon and um, another woman named Cheryl, another woman named Sandy. And we're all going to be working together and trying to create kind of just a good vibe for women and get a lot of information out there. So. Can men attend this event? No. No. Oh, it's truly a women's event. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. Maybe Arnold will try and sneak in, but that's he's men probably can, the only guy. Close. Men can volunteer to help. Men can volunteer and then happen to be there volunteering, but that's about it. So maybe he'll volunteer. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your info and stay tuned for our event.